Hello everyone, Dana Lynette here, and today I'm here to do a review on the crochet hair that I'm wearing. This is my very first install of crochet braids, meaning I've never had crochet braids before, and I've never done crochet braids before. But anyway, here's the hair. It's called Kima Braid, I think it's Harlem 125, and this is the soft dread. Let's see. 14 inches soft dread. All right, so at my beauty supply store, it's cost $7.99 a pack, which I think is too much considering how much I can get it for online, but I wanted it now. So, so anyway, I'll show you the hair. So the soft dread comes like that. So it's in a dreadlock. And this, this is um, cut in half. I cut the hair in half. So what I did was, well, you play with the end, okay? So you get it loosened up. Then you kind of unravel. So you get three pieces. And that's what I did. So by cutting it in half and using three pieces, I was able to use just under three packs of hair, see? And that'll come out without, you know, too much tangle or too much problem. So it was um, a pretty easy install. I used the standard instrument that everybody uses. And this was $1.99 at my local beauty supply, but it's just a typical um, crochet hook needle. It took me seven hours, not including the braids. I'm not joking. Why did it take me seven hours? Because there was just a lot going on while I was trying to do my hair in the middle of the night, having never done this before. This hair is bigger than I intended. Um, I didn't know by putting my um, knots or my pieces of hair so close together, it was going to produce lion hair. If I had known that, I would have spaced them out. I think I watched a couple of um, tutorials that said, you know, space them out for less volume. I just, I just felt like, no, I gotta cover these braids. But, um, this hair has been in my head since the 24th and today is the 28th. So we're going on, this is fourth day hair. I put some on the hair, um, just because I got, uh, I wanted to soften it up. This hair is not very soft, at least not initially. But then I just stopped that. Anyway, um, I really, really like the curl to this hair. I like um, the maintenance is so low. I put my hair up in two ponytails with these little scrawny rubber bands. I just a real loose ponytail on this side and on that side. Tie my edges down, put on my satin scarf, and stuff my hair up under there. That's how I shower. It's just not a big deal. Um, by the way, I don't know how to cut hair, so if it looks crazy, it's because I was the one cutting. But I will go in and try to fix it up a little bit. But yeah, it's just really easy. I did the uh, invisible part. Tried to, um, which is interesting with curly hair. It doesn't come out quite invisible but <laughs> but um it was cool it was cool it was pretty good so yeah this hair 1b is shiny if you don't want shiny don't get 1b i mean one i wanted to get 1b but they didn't have very many packs i should have gotten the two i've been wanting to go lighter but i got the one which is very dark and very shiny so i'm thinking the lighter colors would not have as much synthetic shine if that makes sense but this is good hair. Um, I'm glad I did it. I don't have any complaints. I did have some issues with my scalp, not allergic, but just I didn't do the best job of prepping my scalp and my hair for this. I did a bow out, but I didn't really, really give my scalp uh, the attention it needed before packing it away into a protective style. But I've gotten a spray bottle and a nozzle, and now I've learned how to get the moisture in, and it's much better than the first couple of days. So, Kimma, Kimma, what is this? 
Harlem 125 Kimma Braid hair is, is definitely good hair. Check it out. Um, I think next time I try it, because there will be a next time, I'll do it long. But um, yeah, filling this hair. Go get you some. <laughs> Thanks for watching.